Hi everyone, Simon Keeling here with your flying weather outlook for the weekend and the week ahead. Brought to you exclusively by Flyer and association with weatherschool.co.uk. Thanks again for watching. Um, not bad conditions actually over the next few days, mainly fair across southern areas with an area of high pressure not too far away. There will be some low cloud at times. We've got some rain across more northern areas and the risk of some fog affecting western coasts and hills as well. More on that in just a second. Now, my Aviation Weather School courses are all full, um, but if you'd like us to let you know when we announce the dates of the next courses, if you go to weatherschool.co.uk, that's what you'll see. Go down to the contact form, use the contact button and just fill in there your name and your email address and uh, tell us that you would uh, like to go uh, on the wait list for the Aviation Weather School course and let me know as well whether you want to go online or whether you'd like to do it in the classroom or both and uh, as soon as the dates are announced then I will let you know. Also Weather School is the place to go for you to uh, undertake one of my online courses now. You can do a pilot's guide to skew tees. This is a three hour course, um, it's presented by me, it's a recorded course and what it will help you do is to predict cloud bases, tops, freezing levels, winds for just about any location in the world. It's a really fun course, it's enjoyable to do and it will build your weather knowledge as well in advance of it coming along to weather school. So that's available for you to study right now. Okay, so where are we going with things in the forecast? This is Thursday, fronts tracking their way eastwards during Thursday, bringing rain through much of Scotland, northwest England, western parts of Wales, and much of Ireland. Non-VFR here through the course of Thursday. Eastern air is tending to be drier but a fair amount of cloud and the cloud then increases as this front moves eastward during the course of the afternoon on Thursday and that leaves us with Friday having um, some low cloud across Wales, across central parts of England, northwest England as well. Here it could be marginal at times but that cloud will break and clear and then most areas on Friday apart from the cloud look as if they are going to be into a fair day. Quite windy with that westerly gusting up to 20, 25 knots, perhaps even 30 knots across parts of northeast England. And bases eventually getting to around three to 4,000 feet with the tops at about eight to 10,000 feet. More cloud affecting Western Scotland and Northern Ireland here, non verifiable Bases 1,000 to 2,000 feet, tops at 10,000 feet. But other areas towards the east of Scotland look as if they should be fair but windy. Some low cloud across southern parts of Ireland, possibly western coasts of uh, southwest England as well. Um, but generally, like I say, other areas are looking OK. Now for Saturday, the high pressure still with us down to the south. Once again, some low cloud could affect southern coasts of Ireland, western parts of Wales, western coasts of southwest England as well. Here we could go non-VFR at times as that low cloud drifts in. Rain across Scotland, thanks to the front that you see, non vfr particularly in the west, maybe a little better in the east, but generally non-VFR, less than a 1,000 foot bases, 12 to 16,000 foot tops. Other areas though, faring much better, 3,000 foot bases, 8 to 12,000 foot tops, and generally fair conditions. Now, on to uh, Sunday, and some morning mist and fog on sunny morning across England and Wales and Ireland, but that will clear, and then I think for most areas it looks as if it should be generally fair bases, uh, probably lifting eventually to around 4,000 feet, tops at about 8,000 feet. But across Scotland where you see this front, more cloud here, non-VFR overall and bases of around one to 2,000 feet, but shrouding the hills, tops about 12,000 feet. Better across southern Scotland. For Monday, high pressure out towards the west on Monday. Cold front slipping southwards. It's a very weak affair. May just bring some cloud, could bring a spot of rain, but generally what it does is clear the air out so we get pretty decent condition behind 4,000 foot bases 10,000 foot tops ahead 3,000 foot bases 8,000 foot tops and those clearer skies just moving south during the progression of the day and then on to Tuesday another warm front passes eastwards on Tuesday brings low cloud across the northern and western parts of Scotland non vfr -able here to marginal VFR and I think we're going to be looking here 1,000 to 2,000 foot bases 12,000 foot tops. Other areas generally fair, but again, western coasts and hills may have some lower cloud and some mist and drizzle to deal with. On to Wednesday and fronts again around on Wednesday, more unsettled day on Wednesday. I think these fronts passing eastwards, bringing rain through much of Scotland, through much of northern England, through Wales, through southwest England, 
those pushing eastwards and then heavy showers following into Ireland. Better though across central and eastern parts of England at least in the morning before that rain then arrives but lots of uncertainty in the detail on the forecast for Wednesday. So you see there are some flying opportunities to be found in there during the course of the week and uh, hopefully you can make the most of those. We're updating all the time over at weatherweb.net our sister website which has all the forecasts for aviation on there so do go and have a look if you can and don't forget um, if you want to be told when we announce our next aviation weather school course dates um, then just go to weatherschool.co.uk use the contact form and let us know that you'd like to go on to the notification list for that okay i will leave you with that for now whatever you're doing have a fantastic weekend i'll see you live with a flyer team at 7 30 p.m on thursday evening with an update for the weekend but for now whatever you're doing thanks again for watching keep the sun shining and bye for now